So a silly season continues as it has just been announced today that Jamie McMurray will not return to Chip Ganassi Racing in 2019 and that he has a one race deal to race in the 2019 Daytona 500. How's it going you guys? This is Spider Co 64 here again. This is NASCAR News Discussion episode 76. And so yeah, um, this news, now I was looking at, now I was just looking at the NASCAR app um, a while ago and then I just found out that, um, that McMurray, Jamie McMurray, another driver will not, will not return, to, will, will not drive for Ganassi next year. So, um, yeah, and I got an article right here. And I'll read it to you guys, and we'll talk a little bit about it. So, anyways, let's talk about it. Kyle Larson will have a new teammate at Chip Ganassi Racing for the 2019 NASCAR season, according to a report from the AP that struggles that Jamie McMurray is approaching the end of his full as a full-time driver in the number one Chevrolet. The AP source was the more reliable one possible team owner Chip Ganassi himself. Ganassi says he his uh, says says his offer to McMurray involved running the two the involving involved running the Daytona 500 and the third CGR car and taking and then taking the front office as role with the team like the one Dyer Frank Kitty is in, in the open wheel side. So yeah, basically, um, yeah. So as we just read, so as I just read it, as so as I just read that to you, um, I will be making another uh, NASCAR news discussion episode discussing about, um, if uh, discussing about if Casey Kane can finish the can finish the 2019, um, cup can finish the 2000 the 2018, um, cup se cup season. Because um because I didn't really because I didn't really didn't touch on Casey Kane missing the Brickyard 400 because now I just looked at um, he'll actually miss the entire round of um round damn it the um he will miss the round of um of sit of 16 basically Las Vegas Richmond and the Charlotte Roval which which um, Casey Kane. Will never get to ride at um, the Roval, and Regan Smith will then take over. So, anyways, now let's talk about um, uh, you know, yeah, let's talk about um, this for a second. You know, my honest thoughts on Jamie McMurray. You know, I mean, I mean, when you look at last season and the previous um, seasons. But really, last season, I mean, Jamie McMurray, I feel like, was consistent. I mean, like, there have been times where he's run really good. I mean, not only on just the restrictor play tracks, like like at Talladega in the 2017 spring race, he finished second, second, you know, to Ricky Stenhouse Jr., you know, and obviously, you know, and stuff like that. And then, um, and then in the... Bank America 500 last season, or last year, he he was running top five all day. He was running top five. He was. So it really looked like McMurray had something in the bag, you know. And also, he made it into the round of 12, which McMurray, in his previous seasons, he only he did not survive the round of the you know round of um, sixteen, and also there have been times where McMurray has been close to getting a win, it just never executed. Like at Martinsville in twenty fifteen, but he lost to Jeff Gordon, which honestly I'm glad Jeff Gordon won that race. You know, like I said, he's lost to Ricky Stenhouse Jr. You know at Talladega, you know, but um yeah, was just there just to finish second, but um so. Yeah, now going over Jamie McMurray's career, I mean, the guy has only seven wins. Most of them are restrictor play tracks. And mostly all of them are um, crown jewel events like like Daytona 500, 
you know, like the Daytona 500 and the, you know, and the Brickyard 400. And he was also won a Charlotte, which I don't believe he's won the 600. I don't think so, but, but um, yeah. I mean, there's been. I mean, like, I mean, the guy. You know, he's a Daytona 500 champ. You know, he's also a winner in the Rolex 24 and stuff like that. But, you know, it's just, um, you know, I mean, looking from last season, I really did think that McMurray, I feel like he's going to have a really good season in 2018 because, you know, obviously, um, you know, Chevrolet moved to the new Camaro. And I thought at first, you know, we all thought that the Camaro was going to be really good in the early goings. And it sucked. <laughs> you know, so McMurray's um, 2018 season, well, that consistency from last season, it wasn't there. McMurray, he really runs mid-pack, like in the 20s, like top 20. I mean, considering one, he is a guy in Hendrick Motorsports equipment, you know, the same, is he on the, he's on the same team like Kyle Larson. You would expect McMurray you know, to prove results. Now, he has proven several results. Like, um, his highest finishing position this season has been... Has been third at Texas. Yeah, it's third at Texas. So, anyways, um, and actually, I kind of want to... And actually, uh, first... And actually, I'm just going to go here and see if I can... Um, and see if I can look up... And I see, look up McMurray's uh, results here, or like stats. McMurray, here we go. More info. So, um, yeah, let's just see about uh, McMurray. So uh, when you look at all these, so when you look at really all these races, finish 20, when you look at all these um, finishing results, I mean, um, I mean, most of them, like, like, um, like, most of these results are just, I mean, um, I mean, they're not, I mean, they're not, they're not good at all. You know, some of them are just, um, you know, I mean, um, yeah, but anyways, let's, but yeah, anyways, let's take, but anyways, um, this is, this is his 2018 results for McMurray. So he has competed in 26 races, zero poles. He's only led three laps this season, one top five, six top tens, average start, 18.00, and average finish, 19.00. So, um, yeah, when you take a look at last season, he's had... He's led 20, last season he led 21 laps, had three top fives, 17 top tens. So that's better, you know. So obviously that was better. And when you look at the rest of these results, um, really just not good. Not good at all. So, um, yeah, so what do I, so what do I think will happen to McMurray for um, the Daytona 500 and stuff like that? So you see, here's what I think will happen at Daytona. So first up, um, Chip Ganassi Racing will have Kyle Larson in the 42. You know, obviously, um, well, you know, he'll have the, you know, Kyle Larson will be in the 42, and Jamie McMurray will be in another car. So um, let me actually see um, Chip Ganassi Racing and see what kind of what their numbers are. For um, NAS for NASCAR, so just give me a sec. So yeah, looking at um, Chip Ganassi Racing's numbers, I feel like that Jamie McMurray will be in the Daytona 500, sponsored by McDonald's and Cessna, as a two sponsor in the in a number 40 car. So that's what I think will happen to McMurray and who do, and it will most likely happen. But Kurt Busch will most likely will be in the number one car. For next season. Now it's not confirmed yet. It is not confirmed yet. It's not confirmed yet. But that is what's most likely is going to happen. So anyways. Um, I think that is just going to happen. And will McMurray ever get a full time ride. 
I feel like this is I feel like this maybe will be the end of Jamie McMurray's career. I really do feel like. I mean, one, this is the season, first season where he's missed the chase. And one, I just feel like McMurray he was hold, really holding up a ride, you know. You know, I mean, um I mean like I mean I mean not to be mean to McMurray. I mean, I like McMurray, but he's just holding up a ride in the number one car. You know, I mean, someone else could be having that ride, you know, and having better success than McMurray than McMurray did. You know, and plus, I mean, I mean, he's not even close to winning a race, not like his other teammate, you know, Kyle Larson. And I feel like, and really, I feel like it's because McMurray, he's kind of, I want to say he's a terrible driver, but I just want to feel like that. He's just, he just, he just doesn't have the talent or I think maybe it's just because McMurray, you know, I mean, I mean, from the start of his NASCAR career, it just looks like that he wasn't like a proven champion. You know, I mean, he felt like a guy that, yeah, he can win a race, you know, but he's not going to be like the next Jeff Gordon or anything like that. But anyways, <laughs> anyways, there you go, guys. That is is my thoughts and opinions on Jamie McMurray leaving uh now driving for a Chip Ganassi racing next year and um when more news comes out I will talk about that and tomorrow I will make a video about Casey Kane and and how and if he can complete the 2018 season if not then um well then well this is going to be pretty scary but anyways but anyways um hopefully you guys enjoy this um video if you did leave a like comment down below what you think of this topic and i kind of already touched on points in um rowdy smoke 14's um 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 stream but i just live down here so anyways and also um and also um and also i will also say that every time rowdy smoke 14 is doing a a stream you know or or he or he has he's doing a stream you know, I will be part of that kind of podcasting, you know, stuff like that. But for every stream, you know. So anyways, um, I will see you guys in the next video. Later.